Hey yo, what is up champions fam, it's Zeke 410, back with a brand new WWE Champions video. Now this video is going to be short, sweet, and brief, and right to the point, because Champions and Scopely have just released on their official blog page more information on the May month-long event, the Superstar Shakeup, which is going to be starting later on today. So let's dig right into it. Right out of the gate, they are going to be testing our medal as managers on Champions, because it says right here, thank out of the box unusual character move sets and new special limited time perks will make the difference in our superstar shakeup contest protect versus multiply is the name of the game are you in protect versus multiply which i feel they are implying protect gems versus multiply gems or specialty gem champions which will be needed throughout the month-long event but let's get to a very crucial and important part to this month-long event, and that is perks. Throughout all of May and an extended period into early June, we will have access to unlock seven very special perks, and we will be able to use them to buff our champions and debuff our opponents. That is going to be freaking amazing. Now, we are going to cover the seven types of perks, but I will not cover the minimum and maximum bonuses for those perks. I will leave a link in the description below to their blog so you can read that for yourself because knowledge is power as well as key. I will also have in the link to, in the description below a link to OG Gerson's community update video as well concerning the superstar shakeup. But seven limited time perks from May to a little bit of June, we are going to be able to have full access to these seven perks. And these are what they are. We have a blitz perk, a tour perk, a showdown offensive and defensive perk. And finally, the last three all concern feuds with damage gems and mp so make sure to hop on these as soon as possible in order to unlock these perks we need to gain access through milestones to the resource known as the universal turnbuckles and by using these universal turnbuckles we will unlock the perks and we'll be able to level them up but we also have to use four other variants of turnbuckles combined with the universal um, turnbuckles to level up all of these perks. And from what I understand, there's seven perks and you can max these seven perks up by six levels. So six levels in all. But these are the locations for the four variant types of turnbuckles that you are going to need to combine with the universal and they all represent the four different game modes of champions the blitz turnbuckles will be found in the dean ambrose return to society tour the tour turnbuckles will be accessed through the superstar shakeup solo contest the showdown turnbuckles will be gained through tour hell mode runs and finally the few turnbuckles will be gained through the faction key contest and as you can see each one represents a different game mode i'm surprised they don't have an invasion turnbuckle but who knows they might add that later on but it, it's just something that caught uh, that caught my eye but in order to unlock different perks there is an example down below to unlock the blitz perk you will need 500 universal turnbuckles from the milestones which were mentioned earlier and five blitz Blitz turnbuckles to level it up. So that means we would have to do the, the, the Dean Ambrose Return to Society Tour to get those uh, Blitz turnbuckles to combine with the 500 in order to level up, to level up the Blitz perk. A Tour perk might need 300 Universal turnbuckles, but 10 Tour turnbuckles to unlock the 10 2. Well, not the 10 2, but to unlock to level 2. And Using perks is easy. There's a perk option on your uh, your um champion roster whenever you go on to your roster. It's not that hard. You go in, you find limited time, you apply it, and that's it. Boom, boom, bip. It's done. And you just put it for the specific things. You put your blitz perk where your blitz perks would be, so on and so forth. But let's get to the exciting, the exciting stuff right here. Now, we have two forms of currency coming into the game, but it's the same as the last time. In April, we used protein shakes for vault pulls, and we used um, Re revolution briefcase goggles to do our free-to-play pulls. This time around, we are using shake-up coins 
for the vault and we are using shake up keychains for the free to play pulls now obviously they're also going to have deals in the stores running of course to get more turnbuckles um keychains and coins so always be on the lookout to stockpile those to help out with your faction with hitting the faction milestones but this is the exciting part the feature champion for may is none other than attitude era acrobat ray mysterio and on top of that not only is he coming with gear but my my theory my speculation was right in my last video i said when they had it up it said um dean ambrose secret society lo and behold the free-to-play champion of may is going to be modern era powerhouse dean ambrose return to society now i don't know what his abilities are but because i made that theory that they could bring in a brand new version of him and look at him just like i said it the gas mask looking like bane i gotta go in for him y'all I got to go in for him. I got I got to fuse him like I did Becky. I, I'm going in. I'm going in. Just because I called it, I, I'm going in. Best believe we're going to make that happen. But let's get to the point. This is the part that is the most important. The limited time tours are going to be exclusive to these champions right here. Dean Ambrose, Return to Society, Kalisto, and Sin Cara. Any Booker T, any Hardy Boy, Elias, Dusty Rhodes, Triple H the Game, Stone Cold, the Texas Rattlesnake, any Luke Harper, and any Kevin Nash, any Braun Strowman, Nikolai Volkov, any Randy Savage, any Triple H in DX Tag. This is what I got to say about this. I mentioned this in past videos. Allow me to break this down. Each one of these characters is going to be required throughout the month-long event. Meaning there's going to be a banner for each one of these champions at one point in time when their tours are released. If you need Elias, that's when you pull. And more than likely, he will be at four-star bronze. If you need a showboat, Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold will probably be on a banner to himself alongside the other Stone Colds. We have Luke Harper here. And more than likely, because this is this is what might mess people up. Well, why is Luke Harper in here? Well, one, Luke Harper does use a type of specialty gem, the powerhouse. But this is dedicated to the striker version. Because the striker version of Harper uses multiply gems. The same way that the showboat version of Braun Strowman uses protect gems. Stone Cold, the Texas Rattlesnake, his finisher creates protect gems all of these champions here are going to be using some type of specialty gem or some variant when they're talking about booker t they are referring to harlem heat booker because he uses protect gems the hardy boys matt hardy uses cross break matt hardy uses multiply volkoff uses multiply randy savage showboat uses protect gems Legend Randy Savage, Macho Man, uses Multiply Gems. So, keep this in mind. Those banners are going to be coming up. You could have a chance at pulling a Macho Man. If you want Macho Man, wait for his banner and pull. Because by pulling for Macho Man, whether it's 4-Star Bronze Acrobat or 4-Star Bronze Showboat, not only are you going after a champion you want, but you're also covering the rest of the pool of champions. You could easily pull for Macho and end up getting Texas Rattlesnake. You could pull for Texas Rattlesnake and end up pulling Dusty Rhodes. And when it comes to Harper, it's the same thing. You go for the champion that you really want that's the banner you pull on do not hurt yourself by pulling on every single banner every single week wait for the champion that you want pull on them till your heart's content and then move forward and a cool thing that they're doing with this uh with, uh, with this uh, event too is they are addressing the links so champions who switch shows their links will be finalized so aj naomi the usos and the miz went from smackdown now they're on raw so they're going to be getting the raw brand link um, Kevin Owens, Finn Balor, Elias, and Roman Reigns went from Raw to the blue brand SmackDown. I am glad that they are covering this. But when it comes to this event, I think it's going to be exciting. But keep in mind, 
Wait for the proper banner. Now, right out of the gate, more than likely, they're going to be offering Dean Ambrose return to society first because of the kickoff talent up event that is going to be going on. So that is a chance to pull a higher variation of him if you wanted to. But then remember, we could see a four-star bronze Harlem Heat Booker, a four-star bronze Jeff Hardy or Matt Hardy, a four-star bronze Dusty Rhodes or um, Stone Cold or Triple H, Braun Strowman, Nikolai Volkov with his gear possibly. Randy Savage, a lot of top tier champions. So this is going to be a month to actually pull on banners if you really want to invest your disposable income. And on top of that, it is going to be fun using champions with different move sets, using specialty gems and getting light shined on them the same way that they did in April with the women. It's going to be a nice turnaround. So I think this is actually going to be challenging, but I do say this. I personally would not overwhelm yourself. Do what you can. Farm, grind out the entire month. Wait until the last week. Take care of all the tours. Pull on the banner that, of, of the superstar that you want. Do that. But wait until the very last week where everything's up and running. Hit every final milestone on each one of those events and be good to go. Pick up any keychain deals or turnbuckle deals when you have the opportunity because that does help out with the faction event. But that's basically it, y'all. It's the same thing, but it's going to be exciting to see Rey Mysterio come into the game. He's also going to have his gear, plus to see a powerhouse Dean Ambrose, man. I'm actually hyped for that. I'm really hyped for that. And I hope that y'all get to enjoy it. But again, this is a, a, a this is a choice, okay? You don't have to participate in month-long events. We always have the choice. If you don't have the resources, you don't have them. Be honest with yourself. But it is something good to pass the time. Look forward to feuds. Look forward to seeing how these perks work out because those minimum to maximum bonuses from those perks, once you have them maxed out all the way, are going to be helping out a ton while this month runs and again it's those perks are going to be available for use for the entire month of may and then they are going to be also running for an extended period into june so that's the video y'all bad times don't last crown what's due i hope you like the video leave a like leave a dislike either way make sure to leave your comments in uh, comments in the description below. If you do leave a dislike, please leave your constructive criticism in the comments below. If you have any questions, suggestions, have any advice or need it, leave those in the comments below. And also, if you're new to the channel or you've been watching for a while and just haven't done it, you like what you saw and heard and you want to learn more about this incredible game, WWE Champions by Scopely, make sure after this video to do yourself a favor by dropping a people's elbow on the subscribe button as well as hitting a razor's edge on the bell icon to receive all future notifications now as this month goes on we will be back with an overview for the superstar shakeup as well as a wrap-up video for the superstar shakeup also be be on the lookout for a before you feud and at the aftermath of feud video as well we're going to be getting on a system of doing things properly throughout month-long events so that way everything is covered the intel is always going to be there and you're always going to be prepared no matter what happens so just keep that in mind. I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to have a link in the description below to the blog as well as the OG Gear Sons community update video. Stay up to date. Educate yourself. And I'm also going to be leaving a tier list from the Booty family that was released earlier from the OG Buck. So just looking out for the fam. May you all have a great May. May you all have an exciting superstar shakeup. A lot of things coming. New champions in Dean Ambrose Powerhouse, Acrobat, Rey Mysterio, updates to show links this is going to be exciting the implementation um uh, the amplification of specialty gems for an entire month seven crazy bizarre busted perks if you're able to unlock them it's looking good y'all so good pulling good feuding good blitzing because it's definitely a good time to be a champion i know i said this was going to be short sweet and brief but it was exciting to cover it and once you catch that groove you got to rock and roll with it so until next time mad love to every single one of you and my beloved hashtag champions fam peace crown era baby top 100 coming